What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. Today I've got a story for you guys that was sent in by a subscriber of mine and it honestly might be the most ridiculous level of Karenness that I have ever seen in my DMs. Like honestly, the first time I read this I had to ask them to send me proof just to see if it was real because I, I legitimately didn't believe it. However, I can confirm at least from what they've sent me unless they like faked a bunch of handwritten letters and stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they have a Karen in their neighborhood that is legitimately trying to sue their dog. You can't make this up. Ayo, Fido, I don't like the way you've been barking, dog. I guess we'll see you in court type beat. Karens are really out here thinking that they could just take anyone to court, dude. Imagine being a judge. You have spent like your entire life dedicating your life to legal causes and helping people. And in walks some 45 year old woman who's super pissed off that Airbud is the reason that her kid was a second stringer on the basketball team. Um, yes, I would like to sue this dog for being better at basketball than my son. And that's when you realize that having any hope in the justice system is flawed. But uh, regardless, guys, it should be a pretty fun video. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. On Discord to celebrate. <clears throat> it's, it's so good, it's not good. Nice rack in her ass Brazilian just turned 21 but my bank's a million swear I'm a little All right, all right, all right ladies and gentlemen So just for a little bit of backstory the person that sent in this story has a dog That's a golden retriever and if you've ever been around a golden retriever You know that they are actually usually the most gentle dogs to ever exist, right? Like legitimately the most gentle dogs ever I've seen videos on Twitter of them carrying eggs in their mouth without breaking them like golden retrievers ain't playing and games. They are the nicest dogs ever. And uh, obviously most people don't really have beef with golden retrievers. You know, it's really hard to look at a dog that looks like Airbud and be like, <gasps> how dare you have such a vicious animal on your property? Or at least it should be hard because golden retrievers aren't mean. However, this person's next door neighbor ended up moving and they obviously get a new neighbor because that's what happens when somebody moves out. Hopefully somebody moves in. If nobody's moving into your neighbor's old house, it means that your neighbor Neighborhood ain't doing too hot, which uh, I'm guessing a lot of people don't really like. But regardless, their new neighbor moves in, and the golden retriever doesn't bark a lot. It definitely doesn't. The person who sent me this is like, look, obviously sometime dogs go in the backyard and bark, but they're dogs. There's nothing you can really do about it. And so they get this new neighbor, and the new neighbor is kind of a bit of like, you know, a, a sheltered hermit. They never see them outside. They never see them going anywhere. And one day they go over to like knock on the door and introduce themselves, leave some cookies, just doing good neighbor things. And when this Karen opens the door, the first thing out of her mouth is how they have 30 seconds to get off her property before she calls the police, which is a super neighborly thing to do. Hey there, Karen, we made you some cookies for you to enjoy. Welcome to the neighborhood. Get off my property or I will punch your dog in the throat and call the police. Do you understand? Like, no wonder the Karens aren't very popular in their neighborhood, dude. They, why does everyone treat me badly? Well, because you're threatening people trying to bring you cookies, that's why. And anyways, uh, th this all goes down and they're like, all right, our neighbor's a little picky. So now they purposely go out of their way to avoid her because obviously she's not the most friendly lady in the world. But the 4th of July is coming up and anybody who has ever owned a dog or like lived near a dog knows that sometimes when there's lots of loud noises in the middle of the night that dogs aren't used to and explosions and people screaming and whatnot like th there's a pretty solid chance that dogs are gonna bark a lot and I feel like that's usually pretty obvious to people like if in my neighborhood a bunch of dogs start barking on the 4th of July I'm never gonna you know <gasps> oh my god why are these dogs barking my entire neighborhood experience is ruined because dogs bark when they hear loud noises there's nothing you can do about it really but Sure enough, the 4th of July comes and the Golden Retriever is in the backyard barking as soon as fireworks start going off, which you do at like 7 p.m. Uh, as, as soon as it gets dark on the 4th of July. And all the fireworks are going off and obviously most of the street is like out in front of their house watching fireworks. And the dog is just in the backyard barking because, you know, it doesn't really know what's popping. It's scared. It doesn't know what's up. And what they see next while they're sitting in their front yard watching fireworks go off is the Karen, like, storm out of her front door with the sass that only middle-aged women can muster. And she, like, storms over to everybody watching the fireworks, right? A as they do. And she's like, do you have any idea how loud your dog is being? 
And uh, because this family had already tried to, like, go over and be nice once and be all neighborly, they're like, no, I didn't because, you know, there's hundreds of explosions going around in the sky everywhere, so uh, my focus wasn't really on the dog barking. Like, you're telling me that during all these fireworks going off, the one noise that you're gonna focus in on and complain about to your neighbors is their dog barking? So, like... Obviously, they get pretty lippy with her because who the hell is gonna come outside and complain about a dog barking in the middle of, like, fireworks going off? That That is not the most loud thing you should be worried about. And anyways, uh, so they tell her that, like, no, I'm not listening to my dog bark. I'm watching the fireworks, you stinky poo-poo stinky head. So she doesn't appreciate the sass and is like, well, do you have any idea that some people are trying to sleep? Huh? And they're like, dude, it is literally 8.22 p.m. Like, it is 8.22 p.m. Why are you trying to sleep at 8.22 p.m. on the 4th of July when the entire sky is lit up making insanely loud noises? Like, what? What? What are you talking about, you delusional woman? So, she kind of is, like, getting up in their faces a little bit more, like, you need to shut your dog up. And so, obviously, other neighbors that are outside in their front yard start, like, seeing this commotion going on and start going over to make sure that everything's okay because, you know, it's not every day that people are screaming at each other on the 4th of July because their bedtime is being interrupted. So they go over and the sassy Karen lady starts assuming that everybody is on her side and starts being like, look at the rest of these neighbors are sick and tired of your dog barking too. They're trying to enjoy the fireworks. And everybody who had come over to check it out is like, whoa, 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 whoa. We're not mad at the dog for barking. We just came over because you were yelling and causing problems. We're not on your, like, whoa, we're not, we're not getting involved more than that. Like, it's not deeper than that. And the Karen is like, well, obviously you guys are annoyed with their dog too, right? Because it's just constantly making noise. And everybody else is like, nope, uh, it, it really doesn't bark a lot because it's a golden retriever that doesn't bark a lot. And, and a bunch of the neighbors, too, are, like, being logical with her, you know. Well, uh, I, I feel like a dog barking on the 4th of July is kind of something you got to expect, you know. You can't really blame the dog. It's scared of loud noises. And the Karen is having none of it. She's calling everybody arguing with her morons, saying that they're too stupid to understand her point. And, like, she obviously thought wrong of the people in this neighborhood. If they're going to be stupid enough to think that she's wrong, like... Doing all the Karen stuff that they think for some reason is gonna get everybody on their side. Like, Karens, hear me out. You make an unpopular point, and then you decide to try to get people to like your point by just calling them morons and saying they're stupid for disagreeing with you. Like, yeah, now I'm just gonna go out of my way to disagree with you because you're a bad person. I don't even care if you're right or wrong at this point. Like, screw it. So whatever, everyone's ganging up on her, and she's like, well, that's it. I'm done, but you're gonna pay for this, and like, storms back inside, and everybody's kind of laughing at her when she leaves for legitimately getting pressed that a dog was barking on like the one time of year where everybody agrees that dogs are just gonna be barking you know it, it's not rocket science to expect it so they're like whatever the lady's clearly delusional that should be the end of it but uh the next morning at about like 9 a.m there's a loud pounding on the door and uh, they look out the peephole and they had like a ring doorbell so uh, my friend on his phone or not my friend the subscriber that sent this in whatever we're, i'm friends with all my subs who cares you know uh, they pull it up on their phone and they see their neighbor like putting something on the door and then running away like as fast as she can putting something on the door to try to make it look like somebody else had put it there so sure enough they go to the door after she leaves which they witnessed it was her and it's a note saying how it's another neighbor that was very upset that their dog was barking but didn't want to speak out because you know everybody was ganging up on that poor woman who just wanted to enjoy her evening in peace like made this fake letter basically saying that the entire neighborhood hated them. And so obviously the people just ignore it because they know it was the lady that was beefing with their dog because they have video evidence of her putting it on the door. And so like two hours after this, because they ignored it, there's another knock on the door and this time the lady is standing there and she's like, this is for you and hands them a piece of notebook paper that has pen writing on it. And then without saying anything else, just leaves. And they're like, all right, the lady came, put a fake letter on our door saying how upset she was and how everyone else is mad. And now she drives drops off a piece of notebook paper. So sure enough, they open the notebook paper just to see what this crazy lady had written on it, right? So they look at the paper and it's literally saying, it says, dear dog, like, like the dog's name. I mean, I guess I can say it. So the dog's name was Bud, which is hilarious because Air Bud, you know? And it says, oh, my, my mouse is dying. That's what that alert was. I'm sorry. And it says, uh, hey, Bud, 
Just wanted to let you know that your barking will no longer be tolerated and you have been summoned to the Supreme Court on July 25th to represent yourself and explain why your barking was like too much. This is an actual summons to court under penal code blah 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 that and then like some rant about how taxpayers pay for the Supreme Court so they're allowed to use it if they want like she is legitimately writing this manifesto about why she should be able to sue a dog for barking and let's say you did sue a dog for barking you really think that's going to the Supreme Court like this lady is so delusional this Karen is so cracked out of her mind that she's like oh yeah the Supreme Court definitely is gonna be on my side about dogs Dogs barking. The Supreme Court is out here, like, you know, solving human rights issues and, like, all that stuff. And this lady's just sitting in the corner screaming about how they have to stop her neighbor's dog from barking. Wow, this is a great story. Oh my goodness. Wow. If you love this video and you think that it's swell, then you should subscribe and press the like button. It really helps the video do better, and tons of other famous people are subscribed. Oprah Winfrey was actually why 1 million subscriber. That's not true, and I'm legally required to tell you that, but you should subscribe if you're not already. Anyways, they decide to, like, ignore this lawsuit, because obviously the Supreme Court is not gonna, like, take a lawsuit at a dog for barking. But this lady starts going around to all the neighbors and says that when the Supreme Court agrees with her about the dog barking, she's gonna win their house in the lawsuit and turn it into a pool for the community. She's, like, going door to door in the neighborhood as if she's running for re-election in a school, you know, like, school principal. I'm gonna turn the water fountain into soda like she's acting like the Supreme Court is gonna say oh yeah your dog was barking a lot on the 4th of July yeah you can just have their house like I, I this isn't even a Karen can you classify this as a Karen if they are just absolute crazy people she legitimately thinks the Supreme Court's gonna be down to take away their house over Air Bud. so the neighborhood as a whole is realizing that she's become dramatically unhinged when she starts trying to get neighbors on board with the fact of there's gonna be a community pool after the Supreme Court takes away their house but the best part is every day at like 9 a.m. sharp she comes and drops off another piece of paper like counting down the days until they're supposed to meet in the Supreme Court and no matter how many times they tell her that this lawsuit isn't real she keeps saying like I guess I'll see you in court I guess I'll see you in court and the best part about this Karen is that they don't even live in Washington DC like they're a plane ride away this lady is legit gonna hop on the bus down to Washington DC and show up at the Supreme Court and start banging on the door and be like excuse me this is the day that I requested the building for my lawsuit we now call Air Bud to the stand. Ruh, 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 ruh. Ah, very good, sir. Yes, you lose the lawsuit. So, uh, yeah, that's this lady's situation. She's legitimately trying to sue a golden retriever for barking at fireworks, which, uh, you know, all you dogs out there that are subscribed to the channel, don't worry, I'll stand up for your rights. But if this is your mom, you know, if for whatever reason your mom is the lady trying to sue a golden retriever, uh, please type down below and we will do our best to help you because obviously you're being held against your will. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, moral of the story is, for some reason, I don't know if it's quarantine or what, but Karens are really wiling out, and now they're trying to sue Golden Retrievers, so be on the lookout for that. On that note, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to press the like button. Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought. If you like the intro song, a link will be down below, and be sure to check out some of the merch because it's absolutely sick. I mean, look at this. Tell me this is not guaranteed to get you a girlfriend. Other than that, guys, use code SCRUBBY at the G Fuel checkout. Follow me on my social medias. I'm going to go rewatch every Air Bud movie now just to re-familiarize myself with Golden Retriever culture. Don't get anyone pregnant, and if you do, make sure they're hot. It's just some general life advice. On that note, guys, hopefully I will see you tomorrow with another video. And I'm out. Peace.